before we got on the bridge, we had to plan for it. And then we see what type of inspection we're doing. And that, that entails what, what type of uh, equipment we need, uh, how long it's gonna be, how much personnel we need. Routine inspection is every two years. That's the majority of our structures. This particular structure is uh, every year because it has some cracking in it. We're here to look at the cracks that are there, and some are negative, some have been paint cracks. So that paint cracking means that there's a possibility that an actual crack could be. Use a wire wheel brush, get the paint off of it, clean it, you put the dye pantrin in, and then once you get the dye pantrin in, you let it sit. And it, it'll, if there's a crack there, that pantrin will go inside the crack. And then we wipe it off, try to get all the dye off of the outside that you can't see, and then we'll shoot a developer on it, and it's white. So what it'll do is actually pull the penetrant out of the crack. If it's a positive crack, you'll have a nice red line across there. And everything's documented at the same time, photographs and on paper. If it needs retrofitting, we'll actually monitor the retrofitting after that's done in the next inspection. And it has to go a whole period of six years through, uh, through the routine and in-depth inspections before it can be taken off as, a, as a being fixed. So once it's fixed, it's not only just fixed, we have to monitor that, that fix, the retrofit for it. We make sure that every bridge is safe to cross. Um, if this bridge structure wasn't safe to cross, we wouldn't be standing here right now. Uh, at any time, if he would happen to find something on this structure, it can be shut down. It, and we have the authority to shut it down as inspectors.